everybody how are you doing this is your favorite host surinder jeet singh rana sjs rana reporting for april 21 2022 time about 12 oh four hours udc so today we are looking at very tragic and very gloomy doomy situation images coming from uh, ukraine and this is uh, the uh, bombing and shelling of ukraine uh or morioso you know this uh donbas area region where uh, the battle is going on for the ukraine and the russia because uh, recently russia has uh, warned that these are the last days ukraine is living for the war so russia is quite adamant that it's going to complete this uh, escalation this aggression this uh, war by few more days as i predicted in my last uh, video article you can check my last video post i have mentioned that this will be an escalation now because ever since there was a, a launch of attack from ukraine uh, with the moskova sh- warship sunk down by the ukraine uh, neptune missile i had mentioned that this will be an escalation and russia will be taking some further steps so despite uh, there has been a lot of efforts from the world uh, governments and the, from the world leadership to somehow reach to some truce or some peace deal however there has been uh, absolutely zero progress in reaching any peace deal because russia, russia has made it mind that it's going to complete the uh, takeover or at least split the ukraine that's what it's in their mind so recently uh, we saw how uh, the uh, russia launched rs 28 samrat you know this is a nuclear capable missile hypersonic missile and it can it can carry at least 12 warheads to 16 warheads it can carry and it can be all nuclear warheads so i guess the escalation is there and that's why we see boris johnson from uk uk pm visiting india to somehow find some alignment with india because india has been a belligerent to uh, keep continuing support to R- russia because of the cheap oil and other deals it's getting from russia uh, however uh, because a western alliance nation especially the nato alliance nation has given india lot of goodies in past which is sta1 comcasa spaac and many other military defense deals so western nation finds india uh, not aligning with the western nations in support of a uh, peace deal for ukraine or opposing the russia and that's the reason why boris johnson has taken personal interest to find exactly what's going on beneath the surface because right from uh, sitting on the 500 700 miles away or 7000 miles away it's hardly any image can come out unless uh, they have a face to face dialogue so i guess that's the most important point here that boris johnson has taken personal interest to come and visit india to have face to face dialogue so that there is no communication blockage there is no communication laggardness there is no communication mishandling or uh, what we call as a communication lacuna most of the time when two parties have to meet it is only the communication which uh, basically puts them apart on each side if any party tries to wish to talk to the other party it must have some effort to cross the line to cross the road so standing on one side of the road the other side of the road you know unless you have you are very friendly you cannot have right communication i guess that's the message boris johnson has clarified and it's a very good effort from boris johnson pm of uk to come and meet india counterpart to see what kind of efforts they are going to take to contain this uh, ukraine war or condemn russia and this is uh, what's the problem going on with india is it's going to drive uk investors us investors away from india and uh, that's the focal point we see because uh, all the investors investors which are from us from uk from canada from australia are going to simply dump india because of the role of india is playing by by uh, assisting russia and not cond- condemning the russia over this uh, war and i guess uh, recently we can see this uh, dampness in the india gdp imf cut india gdp down road to 8.2 for fy23 and i think for fy24 india uh, imf shall continue to cut india gdp to sub 7 level so india gdp growth definitely it's not there what it's supposed to be 
earlier it was 13 percent 12 percent now it's at least a differential of five to six percent from uh, what was originally going on uh, just two years back so combined with uk uh, this ukraine war and covid 19 or omicron or you call the pathogens war india will be having a lot of headwinds going forward folks i tell you because of this inflationary press- pressure which is on india commodities prices are rising to skyrocket levels we are not going to see India perform. So that's why recently there was an article in Bloomberg and even uh, uh, we heard a lot of uh, uh, big investors saying that they might consider other emerging markets compared to India because India is seemingly costly now, inflationary pressure is too high and uh, the, the debt ratio of India is growing. So that's the concern what international investors are trying to put up and I guess they may look at other emerging markets like South Africa, like Brazil, even Egypt, you know, those are stable markets and Singapore, which is uh, giving good growth potential. So we'll see how it pans out. Uh, India has to do something about it and it has to come out of this uh, dampness. Uh, it has to even uh, assure the Western nations that it is doing something for them uh, for Ukraine war or peace deals. So, OK, folks, I leave you with one of the image which I shot today. <laughs> Interestingly, I just came out for five, ten minutes uh, in front of my house and I shot this uh, front view of my house where is there's a park facing my house is facing the park and i could see some weird weather here uh, because of no good reason the trees were shaking they were moving uh, widely and i could see there is uh, some commotion in the trees in the nature so i just wanted to share this shot of uh, the development of a park in front of my house so anyways uh, moving on uh, the next big thing which is going on in india is regarding this uh, uh, advantages uh, which uh, the sexual assault uh, sex, sexual assault predators are getting in India. Recently there was a, a, con, a person who was supposed to be uh, under the trial was released on bail and they were hanging the posters, the, uh, you know, the bhaiya is back or it's in the layman term, uh, brother is back. So basically it's trying to intimidate the survivors and that's what these uh, female folks of India or survivors of the sexual assault from India predators are fearing like what kind of future they hold. Okay folks, we, have, we had 6.7 mag uh, earthquake at Nicaragua and this was high intensity mag uh, earthquake but it was at a shallow level so we didn't feel much of tsunami or other effects. So anyways, uh, recently I was keep checking on my location from my phone because usually I used to get about 30-40 yards off. Today I again checked it at about 3.05 p.m. IST India Standard Time, but I could find that today it was giving right location uh, from the GPS. But normally it's giving off by at least 30, 40 yards. I don't know why India GPS is not giving the accurate location, uh, whether it's because of some uh, obfuscation or because of some other agenda they have. Uh, so th- that's why I keep tracking these uh, GPS location of my phone, of my presence where I am, because it's always giving 30, 40 yards off from wherever I am. And that's this. Uh, that's the reason I'm trying to somehow ascertain uh, what's the problem going over here. Well, anyways, you can see this is my location. It's the corner house, 1493 phase 3 B2. Folks, anyways, I'm putting this house for sale. So just for information, uh, and uh, because I've recently mentioned in my last article because of some commotions here, other things which are going on, metaphor against mafia. Uh, I want to give you a glimpse. Again, this was just shot yesterday at about uh, noon. Some car was parked in front of my house. It was a clear taxi. I had no idea again because of the commotion I came out and asked this guy like why he's parked uh, in front of my house and it's blocking my driveway, my gate, you know. Then he said I'm here to pick up for some some location and some location like 15, it said 15, 7, 79 or something. And I said but this is not the location, you're, you're standing in front of 1493. So but they say this is the location I'm getting here. So somehow there is some mess up which even these taxi drivers are getting or they are giving, some people are giving them wrong information because they are trying to call this taxi to their house but they don't give their address but they have them park in front of my house which is 1493 phase 3B2 uh, Sashnagar Mohali. So these people are always confused and they say somebody told us we have to stand here because uh, some uh, mostly it's the girls which are coming so they go to that house then they pick up the girl from that house. But they come to keep standing in front of my house. I don't know what kind of this. This seems to be like some witchcraft going on over here at Phase 3B2 Sashnagar Mohali. And this metaphor against mafia, people who are impersonating 
are trying to befool other people by uh, sending these imposters in front of my house and trying to befool the world by doing such acts so that they can keep get the bounties while they just keep putting the drama on to show the world that see we came there we were there nobody responded because some game somebody's playing behind the scenes and they are playing this game they're talking behind the scenes and i get to know nothing and they put the person in front of me as uh, you know naive and because these things are all well organized mafia it's a mel- uh, well organized mafia running here all these games and they're trying to befool world by saying oh no the person is knowing this part they everybody is knowing everybody only those people are knowing who are pedophiles or who are the members of this mafia who are playing these games here and they keep the innocents away from that group maybe there's a group in zelo who knows there's a go- group in uh, some group in whatsapp they have which they only communicate with their pedophiles or their uh, organized mafia anyways folks anyways these are my articles which are released uh, you can see w3 alignment ww3 world war 3 alignment for nation set and we are seeing how other nations are going to push forward to complete this alignment because world war 3 alignment is currently underway folks i just tell you and this is the reason why russia has been warning it has been even releasing these uh, rs 28 or saturn 2 which is new capable icbm hypersonic icbm so this is quite serious affair because if these uh, launches are of indicative of anything then it is one thing that there is an escalation coming forward and the big war is looming ahead all the peace negotiations doesn't seems to be going on well right now so my prediction has been there folks anyways we're going to move on for very good things events happening lying ahead of us on 16th of may 2022 we're going to witness very beautiful lunar eclipse it'll be visible completely in part of south america and most of the eastern part of uh, us canada and mexico so that's a good thing also it'll be visible uh, in the parts of europe which is uk germany spain also it'll be visible in the parts of partially visible in the parts of africa whole africa but asia it's going to miss this time so people if you are quite uh, interested in this astrological event you can always visit this uh, lunar eclipse which will be taking place on 16th of may may 16 2022 so with this i tell you folks when these events occur i tell you there are going to be some major events which are going to come forward in front of the world uh because i keep predicting based on all these uh, different i- indications i get from or signals i get from cosmos universe from sun from moon whatever is is there around me i get these signals i come to know beforehand and i keep warning you ahead of time that what's going to come that's the reason why i could predict a year before of covid-19 i predicted in june 2019 with hashtag #may2020 ww3 So folks uh, quite bizarre scenario sun has been activating now I, and I told you way before in uh, March which is last week of March 20th 2022 I predicted that sun is going to become very very active now and it's going to do some bizarre phenomena a lot of cmes are expected so stay tuned and this is the current war game going on the current uh, hold from Russia over the Ukraine which is you can see most of the Donbas area has been covered by Russia and it's trying to make advances and as we know russia has been uh, warning that it has very few days left to complete this assignment so ukraine must be ready with its alignment whatever it has to do and those nations which are going to be forging relationship this is the time testing time for them as well so ww3 alignment is here pathogen circulating pedophiles enjoying multiple host body us sanctions are ready us will be sanctioning more to the nations which are aligning with russia india seem using military grade em weapons against the civilian zones so folks that's another uh, big problem with india india human rights track, ro- track record has been very low and uh, to the point they have started using em weapons around the you know sense around the people who are serving the humanity and i have felt it myself and i have kept reporting it that india is using em weapons military grade em weapons against civilians So okay folks with this I sign off and I'm going to meet you in the next session so you can enjoy sun CMEs take care have good mind body spirit